Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bruins Farm. It's a pretty nice morning heading down here to the farm right now. We're heading off to the hometown farmer's market. This is what our setup looks like. Basically the same as always. We have a lot of marigolds, so we're doing a special on them. Usually a full flat of packs is 21, but we're doing 18 on those. But everything else is 225 for the pack, 21 for the flat. And like I said before, the truck was absolutely loaded. And so we have our setup loaded. There's only a couple flats on the truck and that's only because we didn't want people stumbling over flats and them being in the way. Over here is all of our herbs, mints, oregano, sweet marjoram, thyme, sage, celery. Then you move on to the cucumbers. And then everything over here is all flowers. Cap again got onions. The lid was shut, I don't know why. You can see he's got some white, some yellow, some red in there. Bunched up. The bunch just depends on how many onions are in there, or how big the onions, for how many onions that are in the bunch. Only a couple flowering hanging baskets left and then a bunch of the hanging tomatoes. The day was going pretty good, but as you can see, the sky's getting pretty dark. It says it's gonna rain from about a half hour from now till almost dark, so a lot of the vendors are packing up. I think that's gonna be including ourselves here in a couple of minutes. We're just trying to get everything wrapped up and put away, like our clothing and everything besides the flowers, basically. It's the next day, just got here to the strawberry field. Mom and Sammy should be coming here within the next 15 20 minutes. I'm actually getting a phone call right now Yep, that's Sammy Hello Where are you? I'm out in the berry fat out in the berry field Oh, I thought okay. Well, I guess I'll walk out All right, uh, I don't know what okay. mom's doing. Okay. Bye Okay, so Sammy's on our way out sounds like she's a little bit unhappy. I didn't wait for her, but I wanted to get started it is just absolutely crazy, the amount of berries that's out here. I don't know if you can appreciate them from the camera, but I mean, just laying in thick clusters. 100%, I think the best we've ever had, ever. And it's not just this row, if you can see that, in these three rows right here, which must all be the same variety, they're all loaded. We're not gonna have any trouble picking today. We've been picking like the last three times right from the end and we thought well we can't just keep picking the same thing we got to move out here because this field is 1400 feet long and yes some pickers do get out this way but most of them stay right towards the front because like I said they're so loaded they don't need to come out here but we want to get these picked off. I've just never seen anything like it. Look at the size of this berry. It's actually getting a little bit soft which should be okay from laying that little puddle of water with the rain we've been having. But that's just beautiful. Doesn't get much nicer than that. And the awesome, even better part is, the next six rows are all a later variety. So they're not even, or they are just barely coming on. Meaning that we don't have to worry about picking those. We just focus on these right now because, like I said, between the rain and the birds, we don't want them being rotten or getting eaten. And so we're trying to pick these off as fast as possible. So I think on the agenda today is around 80 quarts. Mom's been selling them pretty good, but honestly, we don't even usually open to like the first week of June. Today is May 30th. And so people don't even know 100% yet that we even have strawberries. I mean, the real loyal customers do, but not a lot. And so it'll probably be Going on this weekend, where we'll start picking 100 to 150 quarts at a time, but we don't like to have them sit overnight. We want to pick them fresh every single day. And so we only want to pick what we think we can sell or what we're pretty sure we can sell. And if we sell out, well, then we'll probably just come back out and pick more. But now it is time to get started.
For those of you who have been asking, Frank, it does not work here no more. Not that we had a fallout or anything like that. He just happened to get another job over the winter. Has really good benefits, everything like that. And so that's where I think he's gonna stay. You know, we still talk to him every once in a while. You know, we get along great. The only thing I wish though is that he could be here for this. For the past couple of years, he's been picking berries with us. We've talked about having a really good patch. And now that we finally have one that is producing awesome berries, he's not here to experience it, even though he did help us actually plant the field. So it is a shame. I wish you got to see it, but you know, life goes on. So now Sammy's here and mom. Sammy and I just got our first six, obviously making 12. We're working on three different varieties right now. I know this one is Galetta. I don't really know what the other two are, but they all have a little bit different characteristics. Some are harder, some are bigger, some are different colors of red, but mom's a little bit slower. She only got four quarts and me and Sammy got six. Mom started later. And Daisy's here. Sammy and I are working on this side. Sammy is finding a little more bad ones. I don't know if it's because of the rain or what it is, but still she's getting a good amount. My variety must be different because I'm not finding almost any bad ones. And they're beautiful. Wow, look at the clusters of them over here. Yeah. Don't step in the row, you're gonna make impressions. Oh, but I gotta get to the other side. Ooh, look at, look wow. at that one. Big, beautiful berry. So this is now a different variety than all of us have been picking. These are a bigger berry. They appear to be more of a softer berry. That's just a little bit of like a discoloration from the water. It's not soft, not rotten. It's gonna go in. These are huge, Sammy. Yeah. But that's what you gotta be afraid of right there. I'm not gonna put that one in, obviously. You gotta be careful of the white spots. Well, like they're fine, then you flip it over and they have a big white side on the other side. But the ones that are red are deep dark red. You can see them all just packed down in here. This variety, I would say, is the best variety besides the one mom's in. They're not quite as soft as that one Sammy's in, and they don't have that white underside. When they're red, they're basically red all the way through. So we're just finishing up. I'm not even gonna count them all, but I know there's right around 80. Like normal, lots and lots of beautiful big berries. I wanna take a walk over here, right next to the field is our onions that we planted. I don't even know how long ago. I hope this fence is on. They really don't look like they have grown even the slightest yet, but what they're doing is setting their roots and then all at once they'll just start growing like crazy 
so it's even almost hard to see the rows. They're so kind of little yet, but with this rain and that fertilizer that's in the ground, they're gonna soon take off like wildfire. We just got the berries out to the market here and unloaded. We're gonna head back to the farm now and start unloading truck from market yesterday. My cousin came out and planted our little flower bed or whatever you wanna call this right underneath the sign. Usually he does petunias, but this year he did gazinias and celosia. So I'm pretty excited to see how these do because I've never actually seen these besides in a six pack. So I don't know if they're gonna push out or get bigger or how they're gonna do. Oh, it does look like he did put one petunia in here, but all this stuff was just planted. So now it's got a set of truth and take off just like the onions. Missing the ES on the strawberries. And it won't be long. We'll be planting or at least tilling the ground here for the zinnias like we do every year. Everybody's excited for that. They always come in the market and say how they love driving by and just seeing all the pretty colors. But we just planted those about a week or so ago. They're up in the seed room and I'll probably show you here in a little bit about maybe half an inch to an inch. So they've got a little bit of growing to do yet. And then we got to prep the ground and get that all ready. But as soon as it's ready, or as soon as they're ready, we're gonna get them planted. Now down here in the greenhouse, I'm gonna check stuff for some water. Sammy's starting to unload truck. Until I get down there, I can help her. But we've been busy picking berries, obviously, and this stuff is gonna need some water, that's for sure. Here is those zinnias that we're gonna be planting at the market I was talking about. We just direct seeded these right into the six packs instead of putting them in a 512 seed tray and then transplanting them after that. All these here are our watermelon for the field. And then on the other side here is all of our cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, kale, kohlrabi, all that kind of stuff for the field as well. And then down here is all of our cantaloupe for the field again. So you got it, oh. take care of in here. <laughs> so I'm just getting back out here after watering. Sammy is just about finished up. Amber Lee and I think Jared is helping her, my cousin. You're about done? Yep, there's a last two. Do you think we should tie high tunnels? Sure. So right along the barn, we have what appears to be some really nice rhubarb. I'm not exactly sure how to pick it, but I think that's it right there. We have two different kinds. We have this one, which is more of like a red, and then we have like a greener one. And from what I've heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard the leaves are poisonous. Anyway, we cut them off about right here. We don't waste much at all. And then we might cut that off a little bit, I don't know. But anyway, my mom needs some of this for the farm market just for sale, and my pap wants some to make a pot. So I'm just gonna start here by getting some of the biggest stalks. Pretty nice. That one's just as long, it's just not as thick. Get in here, Sammy, look at this. So you can see them all in there, and I don't know, I think it's all, oh, I broke that one off. I think it's all about ready. <laughs> it's coming off really nice, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. My shoe size is seven. Now you can tell how big it is. Let's move down here to this guy. These aren't. Dace is here with us. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Oh, I broke that one off. Tell the viewers to please subscribe. Good girl. How's that look? That looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. Just, I think you need to go. Look like the pond in the background? Yeah. Can you like pull them down a little bit? Like, there you go. Okay, so now we got our nice pile of rhubarb. This is the other variety I was talking about. It's not as red, it's more greenish. But I think this obviously looks way nicer. And so anyway, we'll just take 
cut it off right there. I'm gonna leave this on. If my mom wants to cut that off at the farm market, that's fine. But I know she doesn't want the leaves on. Actually, I think when people cut it, they even leave a little bit of a leaf on. So that's what I'll do. Basically, I cut onions. Mm -hmm. Hi, hon. Hi. So I'm relaxing. So I'm relaxing. Yeah. I'm relaxing. Oh, Dee Dee. So now Sammy and I just moved down here into the high tunnel. We are tying them now, I think for the fourth time. I, and I assume there's only gonna be about one more time we're gonna have to tie them after this. They're doing awesome. We just got two rows done, working on our third out of the fourth. Then we're gonna move up to the upper high tunnel. Sammy's the one tying. I'm the one running the string. We're actually debating, which these rows are a little bit smaller than these rows. So we were debating instead of doing the weaving technique just going along the outside now so we don't damage them but we're gonna see what happens as we start along here some of you guys were asking where we get the string from this is from Nolts produce supplies out of Lancaster I don't know if you can order online but it's a three pound box made in Guatemala and the string just twirled in there and it pulls right out of this box and then we attach a PVC pole to it then I can kind of guide the string for Sammy. So are you weaving or not? I don't think you should. Okay, Sammy's making the call, we're not weaving it. If we get in trouble, then it sounds Sammy. I'm not gonna get in trouble. definitely are bigger than the other rows, that's for oh, sure. Yeah. Huge. We have not fertilized these tomato plants yet, like through the drip line. Only fertilizer they had was what we put in the ground before we actually even laid the fabric. And so we know we obviously have not fertilized them too much. They've been growing at a good pace. They're not long and lanky. They're nice and stocky, but yet they're at a nice height but they are very full and thick, which is good. You don't want all plant and no tomato. You also don't want all tomato and no plant. You kind of want a happy medium, which is what I assume we got going on here. That's where I'm calling it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.